Well, as you look back through history, historical figures have reshaped, elevated, and reached to new heights during tough times. And oftentimes, we are fortunate to listen to their unique perspectives to hear how they reach their full potential. WNCT's Dominique Moody spoke with Dr. Paul Cunningham, a medical trailblazer who worked tirelessly to provide for all patients, including African Americans right here in the East. A country boy from, from Jamaica. Yep, that's how Dr. Paul Cunningham describes himself. <laughs> Still holding on to his Jamaican roots. His first crack in medicine came at just six years old. I used to make little models with clay and, and operate on them. A long historic career followed. Dr. Cunningham becoming the first African-American president of the North Carolina Medical Society in 2016. And in 2008, the fifth dean of East Carolina University's Brody School of Medicine. And I think the influence really came from my grandfather and from our family doctor. Role models taught him early lessons about success. There was no hurdle ahead of me that I couldn't overcome. From there, his academic career soared, graduating from high school, college, then landing in the Big Apple. I'd never seen snow before in my life, living in an apartment. You know, I grew up in in a rural environment. The transition proving to be challenging. I had a very broad exposure, but it was clearly a challenge to go from small town Jamaica to Fifth Avenue. And would soon start working in Harlem, which made his transition to Bertie County, North Carolina in 1981 almost seamless as he took on the roles of vice chief of medical staff at Bertie Memorial Hospital. A predominantly African-American uh, struggling many times. We had um, a, a drug epidemic in that time at that time. Circumstances similar to home. Similar to the colonial uh, nature of life in Jamaica. He started Bertie Memorial making the start of a lengthy career in eastern North Carolina. Everything that I've accomplished in life has been related to other relationships and the teams that supported me and, and that I supported. While making history in his role, Dr. Cunningham has picked up several honors along the way. One being named to the state's Order of the Longleaf Pine, a prestigious award given by the governor. Dr. Cunningham's main focus these days is on his family, as he's now retired. My family has been long suffering. But the part that was missing was me. But they've been the most supportive people than, than I've had the privilege of having a relationship all of my life, particularly my wife. For Nine on Your Side Hidden History, I'm Dominique Moody. WNCT is celebrating Black History Month, highlighting the impact of African Americans here in the East. Nine on Your Side is telling the stories of African American struggles and achievements. You can watch the East's Hidden History Saturday at noon right here on WNCT Channel 9.